Hello friends, welcome back to develop with Saurabh YouTube channel. This video is the continuation of our Jasper reports with Java tutorial series. If you haven't access our playlist, I suggest access our playlist for better understanding. Now in this video, we will discuss about JRXML and Jasper files basic flow of report generation. So stay tuned, let's get started. So let's see what is JRXML. As the name suggests, it is XML based file format. You can think of it as human readable format of report design structure. It is similar to the class object analogy in object oriented programming. In this case, a JRXML file is a Java, Java class which defines repo structure in human readable form. A JRXML file can be edited by a normal text editor or can be designed by using dedicated tools such as Jaspersoft Studio. JRXML files mainly contains data sources, query statements and parameters required for generating the report. Now let's see what is Jasper file. If you think of a class object analogy in OOPS again, Jasper files are similar to class files which are compiled form of a Java file. Jasper files are basically binary files that encapsulate design structure and data required to produce a report. We can use Jasper files directly in our Java code in order to generate various reports such as PDF, HTML and Excel files. So basically Jasper files are optimized for performance. Now let's see about Jasper reports life cycle. The flowchart shows the broader view of report generation. As you can see Jasper reports life cycle has four phases, design phase, compile phase, execution phase and export phase. Now let's see one by one in detail about these phases. Now first phase is designing phase. In this phase we design our report structure in simple XML file known as JRXML file using Jaspersoft Studio. Now second phase is compiling the report. In this phase after designing is completed we compile JRXML file into Jasper file for better performance while generating report. Here note that these Jasper files should be shipped along with your application to run the reports. So now let's see execution phase. In this phase data is filled into the compiled Jasper file with the help of Jasper field manager class which has some static methods to fill data. Output of this phase is jrprint object which has .jasper extension which is used either to print or export report in desired format. And finally the last phase is export the report to the desired format. In this phase by using static methods of jasper export manager class we can export report to desired format by using jrprint object. Now, in upcoming videos, we will see about important classes in Jasper report library in order to generate reports through Java code.